a lot of folks locally know some friends and family that are just dealing with so much loss. I mean, just look at this perspective of a before and after. Of course, the after is on top, after Helene. This is Chimney Rock, North Carolina, small town in the heart of Appalachia. And you can see this whole row of buildings on the left side totally succumb to the water of the Broad River. And there's so many different scenes like this across the Southeast. So just keep those folks in your thoughts and prayers tonight because they've got a very long road of recovery ahead of them. I mean, take a look at some of these rainfall totals. These are biblical amounts of rain. Jonas Ridge, North Carolina, 36.54 inches of rain. Just to put that in perspective, what Burlington receives in one year is usually about 37 and a half inches. So these folks have received in three days what we would get in about a year. So you can imagine the devastation from that amount of rain, even in larger towns like Asheville, North Carolina, totally cut off from all communication, including emergency responders. So a very scary situation going down in, in the southeast. And you can still see this broad swirl here over Tennessee and Kentucky. That's the leftovers of Helene. Of course, it's much weaker now, but still bringing rain to parts of the Midwest and even up toward Pennsylvania. Luckily, we've got high pressure in place, a dry flow from the Northeast, and that's really putting a halt to these clouds and showers that are in Southern New England, and we'll continue to see that through tomorrow. Now, in terms of cloud cover, we may get a little cloudier during the day on Sunday. I don't think it'll ruin the day. There will still be some breaks of sunshine, so a beautiful Sunday ahead, really any enjoyable uh, time to be outside. Really want to soak it in this time of year. Monday's also a beautiful day. Look at that. Some morning fog certainly possible, but that'll burn off quickly by lunchtime and early afternoon. We've got lots of sun for Monday afternoon as well, and we'll do it all again on Tuesday. Sunshine mixing with clouds, high temperatures in the 70s for the next few days. So we've got really three more days of really gorgeous weather before you see a front moving in. Now the remnants of Helene are out here and they'll sort of spin themselves out and move out to sea. So we're not worried about the remnants from that. But here comes a cold front during the day on Wednesday. Could be in here first thing in the morning for parts of the region. Should bring a round of rain during the day and then it'll clear the coast by Thursday. So it's drier to end the week, although a little bit cooler than what we've been seeing. So temperatures tomorrow well into the 70s for the lower elevations, 75 in Burlington, 74 in Lebanon, a little cooler in the high elevations, but nevertheless, most of us should hit or exceed the 70 degree mark for tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday. There's the impact weather for Wednesday, 63 with around a round of showers, but look at that. We've got more 70s in the forecast going into the following weekend. We may cool off just a hair by next Saturday as another front comes through with a spot shower, but for the most part, we are not looking at any flooding or significant rain in the forecast.